through the maze of human experience. One unique, profound truth becomes apparent as clearly as a star in the night sky. The reality we live in and the world we see are not just two sides of the same coin that we walk over, but also a reflection and projection of our own inner consciousness. This realization, striking in its simplicity, holds within it the power to transform our understanding of existence. Consider for a moment the nature of thought. Thoughts are not tangible entities. They cannot be grasped with hands or seen with eyes. Yet, their impact is as real as the ground beneath our feet. They shape our perceptions, color our emotions, and ultimately sculpt the narrative of our lives. We are born into a world rich with sensory stimuli, each sight, sound, and touch acting as a brushstroke on the canvas of our subconscious. This relentless influx of information, intertwined with the meanings we assign to it, constructs the reality we experience. The people we encounter, the environments we navigate, and the events that unfold around us are not random occurrences, but the physical manifestation of our internal dialogue. As we tread the path of self-discovery, we begin to unearth the immense influence of our subconscious mind. It's akin to turning the key in a lock, long forgotten, opening doors to rooms within ourselves we never knew existed. In these hidden chambers lie our deepest beliefs and fears, the architects of our external reality. The moment we start to alter these foundational beliefs, the world outside shifts, aligning more closely with the desires and aspirations we hold within. This metamorphosis is not mere coincidence. It is the universe responding to the changes we initiate in the depths of our being. Our interactions with others provide a fascinating insight into this phenomenon. As we change our internal narrative about someone, their behavior and even their fundamental characteristics appear to transform before our very eyes. This leads us to ponder. Are we altering them? Or are we merely perceiving a different aspect of a shared collective consciousness? This question opens the door to a profound realization about the nature of our existence. The concept of mentalism, as ancient and enigmatic as the stars themselves, suggests that we are simultaneously individual entities and integral parts of a unified whole. This duality, complex yet inherently logical, posits that while we experience life as distinct beings, we are all interconnected at a fundamental level. Our ability to comprehend this duality hinges on our capacity to let go of fear. Fear, by its very nature, seeks to categorize and divide, creating illusions that hinder our understanding of the truth. As we liberate ourselves from the grip of fear, we begin to see the universe for what it truly is. A mental construct shaped by our collective consciousness. This realization brings us to a crossroads in our evolution. As sentient beings, for generations, fear has been a deeply ingrained aspect of the human experience. But as our collective consciousness evolves, we find ourselves shedding these archaic fears. This shedding of fear is not just a personal liberation. It is a communal awakening, as more and more of us reject fear. Based thinking, our collective vision of the universe shifts, revealing its true nature as a mental construct. The teachings of luminaries across ages, from Jesus to David Hawkins, underscore the importance of internal harmony in understanding and shaping our external reality. To live in harmony is to act in the best interest of oneself, others, and the greater good. This harmonious existence, free from the shackles of fear, doubt, and indecision, paves the way for a life filled with purpose, passion, and joy. It is in this state of internal equilibrium 
that we can truly connect with the essence of the universe, experiencing the external world as a direct reflection of our inner peace and balance. The path of personal development unveils the staggering influence of our subconscious mind as we delve into its depths, altering the very fabric of our beliefs. The external world begins to transform before our eyes, aligning more closely with our desires. Aligning more closely with our desires, we become acutely aware of the subtle programming that once obscured our perception of reality, a veil woven from fears, doubts, and uncertainties. Each thread, a product of sensory input, through persistent introspection and the gradual dissolution of these subconscious fears, we unlock a deeper understanding. The external reality is but a mirror, reflecting our inner state of being. As we refine our inner landscape, the outer world responds in kind. Our interactions with others take on new dimensions, shaped by the thoughts and beliefs we hold within. Even the most steadfast character traits of those around us seem malleable, shifting in response to our internal changes. This phenomenon raises a pivotal question. Are we altering others, or are we simply experiencing the oneness of a shared universal mind? The ancient wisdom of Kabbalah posits a paradoxical truth. Everything exists in a state of simultaneous is, ness and is, ness and is, not, ness. This duality suggests that we are both distinct individuals and integral parts of a collective whole. The extent to which we grasp this duality is directly proportional to our ability to release fear, for fear thrives on illusion and division, offering a false sense of security while obscuring our true nature. In our ordinary experiences, the sense of separation is palpable. Each person navigates life as an individual, with unique thoughts, emotions, and perspectives. This distinctiveness is the basis of our identity. The E that interacts with the world. It is essential for survival, allowing us to make decisions that ensure our well-being and success. This individuality is celebrated, often seen as the essence of human experience, where personal achievements and self-realization are paramount. However, beneath this layer of separation lies a deeper, more profound truth our inherent unity with all existence. This unity suggests that, at a fundamental level, there is no distinction between self and other, between one person and another, or between humanity and nature. It implies that we are all part of a vast, interconnected web of life, where every action and thought reverberates beyond our individual selves, influencing the larger whole. This concept of unity finds resonance in various spiritual traditions and scientific understandings. In spirituality, it is often expressed through the idea that all life is one, and the separation we perceive is an illusion, a temporary veil that masks our true nature. Quantum physics, too, hints at this interconnectedness with concepts like entanglement suggesting that particles, no matter how distant, are connected in ways that defy classical understanding of space and time. The paradox arises when we try to reconcile these two realities. The undeniable individual experience of life and the underlying, often intangible, sense of unity. It challenges us to consider how we can live as unique individuals while embracing our interconnectedness with the universe. This involves recognizing that our, our actions and choices, while personal, are part of a larger dance of cause and effect that shapes the collective experience. Understanding this paradox is more than an intellectual exercise. It is a transformative journey that expands our consciousness. By acknowledging our interconnectedness, we become more empathetic and compassionate. We start to see others not as separate competitors, but as fellow travelers in the journey of life, each with their own struggles and aspirations. This 
shift in perspective, fosters a sense of global community and stewardship, encouraging us to act in ways that benefit not just ourselves, but the greater good. In practical terms, living with an awareness of this paradox means finding a balance between self-care and selflessness. It involves nurturing our individual talents and pursuing our personal goals, while also being mindful of the impact of our actions on others and the environment. It is about celebrating diversity while recognizing our shared humanity. Throughout history, fear has been a pervasive force embedded in our very neurology. Yet, as our collective consciousness ascends, we find ourselves outgrowing these primitive fears. This elevation of consciousness heralds a new era, one where the relinquishment of fear-based thinking unveils a reality of unparalleled clarity and truth. As we shed these fears, our perception of the universe undergoes a profound transformation, revealing the mental nature of existence. The teachings of revered figures like Jesus and David Hawkins offer insights into the nature of harmony. To live in harmony means to act for the benefit of oneself, others, and the greater good. This harmonious living, free from fear, doubt, and indecision, leads to a life of purpose, motivation, and bliss. It is in this state of harmony that we truly connect with the essence of existence, experiencing the world as a reflection of our inner peace and balance. At its core, living in harmony is an art, a delicate balance of self-awareness, empathy, and a profound understanding of our place in the cosmos. It begins within, in the quiet corners of our minds and the depths of our hearts. When we achieve a state of internal equilibrium, where our thoughts, emotions, and desires coalesce into a symphony of purpose and intention, we start to resonate with the universe's vast rhythm. This harmonious state is not merely a passive existence. It is an active engagement with life characterized by a deep sense of purpose and a genuine desire to contribute positively to the world around us. It's about aligning our personal aspirations with the greater good, ensuring that our actions not only fulfill our own needs, but also serve the needs of others and the natural world. The pursuit of harmony within is a journey of self-discovery and transformation. It requires us to confront and release the fears, doubts, and indecisions that have long hindered our growth. These negative emotions, products of past experiences and societal conditioning, often act as barriers to our understanding of our true selves and our connection to the universe. As we shed these limiting beliefs and embrace a mindset of abundance and possibility, we begin to see the world in a new light. In this state of internal harmony, life takes on a new dimension. We become more purposeful in our actions, more conscious of our impact on others, and more attuned to the subtle nuances of the world around us. Our relationships with others become more meaningful and fulfilling as we interact with them not from a place of need or expectation, but from a place of wholeness and completeness. This transformation has profound implications for our external reality as well. As we align our inner world with the principles of harmony, the universe responds in kind. The people we meet, the opportunities that arise, and the events that unfold around us begin to mirror the state of balance we have achieved within. This is the law of attraction at its most fundamental. We attract what we are. And as we embody harmony, we attract harmonious experiences. Living in harmony also means being in tune with the natural rhythms of life, understanding that we are part of a larger ecosystem. It involves respecting the delicate balance of nature and recognizing our responsibility to preserve and protect the environment. This deep, 
ecological awareness further strengthens our connection to the universe as we realize that we are not separate entities navigating an indifferent world, but integral components of a vibrant, interconnected web of life.